Hi, it's Barrett by Record.org. This is a completionist video for Assassin's Creed 3 and it's Man of the People. And this is your favourite game, isn't it, Adam? Oh, I love this game. Right, so try and hold back all of the negativity that you may have heard from on our evolution of video of Assassin's Creed 3. What I'm hearing is you're saying you don't want to talk at all about this. Yeah, basically, yeah. shut up. But okay. um, we'll just go through this. Um, you must have done some of these missions where there's stuff around town where villagers aren't really liking the red coats or the blue coats depending on how far in the game you are? No. Really? I, I genuinely didn't. I, I avoided them. I just went from A to B in the storyline and then left it alone. I okay. couldn't stand to do the side missions. Okay, well if you take uh, New York and Boston, it's split into three districts. Um, much like how Assassin's Creed 1 was. You know, you had the poor district, the medium district and, and the rich, rich district. It's kind of what this is like. Um, in each one, there will be a series of missions you have to do where you've got to help people out. Like in this one, the farmer, uh, the he's got he's trying to sell his crops, but the uh, blue coats at this point, red coats if you're early in the game, aren't letting him do it. So they keep turning up and like burning his crops down or something. So I've got to be around to stop that, and I'm awesome at it. So I just stab them all in their chests and they stop. You also had a sword because you one behind it. Yeah, you didn't realise that there were shops you could go to to actually buy swords. You've yeah. been spending the whole time with a tomahawk. Um, but yeah, so one of the ones to do is you know, protect a farm's crops. Um, but yeah, so you've got it all in three districts, and in each district there is a person there who you can get to become an assassin. I, I figured out yeah. this is how you gain assassins. You know, it's not like in the other games. I, I can't remember in the previous one. In the other games, them. you'd see a citizen in need and you'd help them. Yeah, but in this so one, it's, it's similar. Yeah, but in this one, it's you've got to do uh, ten, no, nine things in a district, and the tenth thing is a mission with this person. They're like, "Oh, this guy's being a dick. What do I do?" And you kill him, and they're like, "Who is that guy?" And they're like, "Oh, he's a Templar." And they're like, "Oh, that's cool. Can I join you?" And you're like, "Yeah, obviously," because this is how normal conversations work. Yeah, totally. I, I don't think someone's being a dick and someone goes, oh, he's a Templar. And I go, really? And I go, can I join you? You look like you could be an assassin if you to followed a fair, creed. Oh, so we're getting a bit negative here. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, it'd be awesome. You see this guy take out someone with a sword and, tom and, and a hidden blade. You're like, oh, wow, this guy's obviously some sort of an organisation. Okay. I want to be this. Unless, of course, it was this assassin. And then you go, like, well, this guy looks good shit. In this one, uh, all the these guards are trying to hand out these blankets. The blankets are infected with smallpox. Yep, okay. So I grab a lantern, um, which you think would be quite easy. I, I don't know if it's this one. Uh, Connor seems to have a trub has trouble getting towards this lantern. It's like a mask goes slowly, and then he can't seem to... And then he gets finally gets around it. But he had a lot of trouble getting that lantern and burning the blankets. Connor's not very good at anything. First time I did one of the burn the blankets, I didn't realise that's what's going on. I thought Connor was just being a dick. Because this guy was like, oh, it was in one of the burnt down houses. He was like, oh, this is, this is, these are my blankets. I'm going to keep warm with these. And Connor just goes, smash. And I was like, You're such a dick. In this it one, this, this guy is being evicted. So um, you bribe the guards and you can do it free. You don't have to bribe the guards. You can shoot them and kill them all. You can shoot them if you can find a shop to get arrows from. You know, I've never bought arrows. Somehow really? I don't seem to write. Every time I log back in, I've got eight again. See, I don't. I bought arrows early on in the game, and then I had zero straight no. after that. I had the eight arrows that you start. Arrows uh, the eight arrows that you start with, and uh, that's about it. See, I didn't start with any. I had to go and buy some. And as soon as I bought, I bought them, and then next mission they disappeared. Huh. In this one, uh, this guy has found an informant who is giving the names of all of the um, patriot leaders to the guards. So you've got to go find him and change his list of names with another list of names so you're not going to get found out. So there's the guy. And I'm, I'm, I'm be all, all sneaky-like. You know, don't look directly at him. It's weird. I found that I could stand in his view and look at him and he'd stare at me. If I turned my head slightly and didn't look at him, he didn't know I was there. Huh. But yeah, so after awesome. after about 10 minutes of cat and mouse, because this guy won't stop, you know, stopping and looking at me, I run around a building and chase him into an alley where he's relieving himself. Yeah. Literally, he's there wow. going, oh. So I pick his pocket. I knew this game took like this, but... <laughs> oh, I hey, see what yeah. you did there. Uh -huh, and then here we have the final mission. I've done all the stuff to relieve... To relieve... <laughs> to, um... To, stop, so, you know, to help people out. So now, I've gone up to... Uh, 
the boat where the Templar is, I've got two of my assassins to dress up as blue coats, and uh, because everyone's looking for me in the town, they're going to be like, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll turn you in. We'll get a bounty back. And we'll kill him. So, yeah, they take me onto the ship. Uh, I get close to the guy, and a fight breaks out. And then me and the guy start kicking us. I forget what this guy's name is, this bald guy, but the other two people that you get in New York is you get Jamie, who's a doctor, um, and a girl called Dobby. She's in the poor di no, she's in the, the like the agriculture district. Uh, uh, Jamie's in the poor district where you saw me burning those blankets. Yeah. And then you got this guy. Uh, he's some bald guy with a weird accent. I feel like his accent changed several times throughout um, while I was playing it. It's a not very good voice accent. Well, it sounds it sounds a lot like a, a Mr. Dean. Yeah, because he started talking uh, like. The first time I met him, and I was there mocking his accent. Then when I saw him another time, I was like, "That's not the accent you had before." But yeah, this is where you explain to him, "Oh, he was a Templar. Don't worry about it." You know, and then he's all like, "I would love to join you because I love your cape." Yeah, that's probably pretty much it. Yeah, it can't be his assassin -y abilities because he's not really an assassin. A couple of seconds, bleep bloop, man of the peoples. You know, twenty game score for. I mean, this probably took me about. An hour to do all of the missions. Why would you hurt yourself? Another hour of that game. 